Hey guys, 828 Fine Adventure here. I got a new dash cam. It's called the Garmin Mini 2. And it is real small. And you know, if you have it in your windshield, hardly anyone would notice. It's real good for y'all that park in parking garages, say, and uh, you know, are worried about somebody breaking a window to get into your vehicle. But anyways, let's get past that. It's a nice little camera good quality and I'm gonna install it and tell you a few things about it um, this is probably the highest quality dash cam I've ever owned so let's move on to that so today folks I'm gonna install a Garmin dash cam it is the mini 2 and it is a tiny little camera that really depending on where you put it if you put it in front of the mirror nobody's going to really know you even have a dash cam and that'll keep it from being stolen if that's a thing where you live and i've also got a memory card to go in it it's one of the mini ones this is just the adapter and then i have this little short cord which i'll show you when i'm connect this up i have a special adapter that plugs into the back of the mirror uh, that lets me power my dash cam when the car is on. I'm not direct wiring this. Um, I just I just don't feel it's necessary. I might do that later. But right now I'm going to use this little adapter that is on the back of the camera. I don't know if you can see that. This right here. This is the adapter. And all it is is it goes in line between your mirror and the actual power coming out of your headliner. And it has a USB port in it, so you can plug up your uh, wire to the dash cam. These work great, and I will put a link under the video in the description if you're interested in looking at this or the camera. Do some research, but these have worked great. So, you know, just uh, check this out, and uh, let's see how this camera does. So let's get it installed. So, in the box, there's not much to it. You have some directions and a lot of cardboard. But here's the little mini camera. Goes like this. You can see this is the little da the little uh, windshield mount. And there we go. And you can you can pop this off like that if you want to have another one in a different car. So you can put the camera in there. Or if you needed to, uh, let's just say, hide your camera, I guess. I mean, I don't know how easy it would be to pop that off. It would probably pull off the windshield. Uh, if you did anything like that. So, this is the camera. You got a little memory slot here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this little memory card in it. Let's see here. There we go. The memory card is installed. Easy as that. Now, let's see here. Up here on the dash. I'm not sure where I want to mount this. Clean some of this off. I'm going to go ahead and mount this right up under here. Under here, I'm going to go ahead and mount this. As you can see, right up under here, center with center with the actual mirror that comes down, not with the TSS sensor but with the, uh, with the mirror that comes down right here. There we go. Now I've got the little USB cord plugged in here. Let me see if there's a, a way I can shorten this cord. There we go. Okay. Got that up there. 
Doesn't look too bad. I think I've got it pretty level. Okay, let's turn on the car. I've got some flashy lights there going on. So, I'm referring to my directions. The Garmin Dash Cam Mini 2. And let's see what we got here. The Drive app should be the one I get. So let's see what I can find on my phone here. Okay, I just went through these steps where you hold the button, that formats your SD card. Went ahead and did that, now I have the red light. So after you install the app, you go through a few prompts. And right now I am picking my dash cam. It says hold down the save button on your dash cam. Until the LED flashes blue. Okay, there we go. Now I need to pair it. I am pairing the dash cam to, there we go. Tap the button below, then select DC Mini 2 69 300. As you can see here, it also comes up on this list. So I'm gonna pick that. Now I have to create an account. Okay, I'll do that. I'm signing in with my existing Garmin account. Now it's setting up the camera. So once you sign in and have all that done and go through all the prompts, then you'll start setting up the camera. You can activate a vault where all your footage will be saved. That is not my setup. You have to go through many prompts on this app, but it's pretty easy to do. I'm just looking at a live view of the, the video right now. Everything looks good. And if you look at it on the phone, I don't know if you can see that. It looks really good. When you get everything set up and you go through all the prompts, you can take a picture, save a video, do a live view, add another device. It's really nice and very easy to use. It's got all your, your setup in here data overlay, exposure value, incident detection, resolution, unsaved videos, camera setup, Wi-Fi connections, vault storage, parking guard, everything. Parking guard will really only work if you have a direct power to it. I'm not gonna do that yet, but you know, don't tell everybody. <laughs> so I'm just gonna sit here and figure it out, but really that's all that there is to it. You just stick it to your windshield, plug it into power, download the app, Go through the prompts. Once you go through the prompts, you can just set it up the way you like it. It's very easy. Garmin has done a great job with the app and the integration. And of course, Garmin has quality stuff. They're not um, these cheap, crappy, you know, dash cams like I've used in the past that overheat and swell up because of the batteries in them. So the Garmin product is really nice. The hardest thing is downloading the app and um, going through all the prompts, like signing up, uh, you have to join Garmin Drive. And, you know, once you do that, you know, it, it you pretty much takes you through everything, just like you're setting up a phone. That is the most difficult thing there is. It's difficult because it takes time. You can't just plug it in and start recording. You have to go through all those steps with the app. Um, so, you know, I wanted to let you all know that, that it's it's not just plug and play, um, like the directions say. You do have to download the app to your phone and go through some prompts and, you know, but that's it. But basically with the camera, you put the memory card in, you pull the adhesive off the little mount, you stick it on your windshield, you plug it up, and you have a dash cam. And it's a real good quality one.
I like the small size and uh, you know it, it's just you know I've had so many of the cheap ones it's you know and and they work some some of them won't take a very large uh, memory card the Garmin will take up to like 256 or something like that so you know and I remove that a lot to you know get footage if I need to get some footage um, but you know uh, it's you know it's it's an easy cam to uh, to install and to use um, let me know what you think about the uh, the footage that I'm getting um, you know my other ones do uh, really well for my other vehicle the one I had ha I had put in this and made a video on before I'm putting that in our Subaru and I wanted to try the Garmin in this because I also have the Garmin switch under the hood and you can see another video on that um, that lets me control my lights all over the vehicle through Bluetooth so I don't have to run wires through my firewall. I just like the way Garmin makes things. It's just really good quality. Um, you know, I've had some cheap dash cams in the past that the uh, lithium battery that's inside has swelled and it actually pushed them apart. Um, you know, and that could start a fire and I don't want any of that nonsense in my truck. So anyways, that's what I got. And I wanted to share it with you in case you've been looking at the Garmin. I'm not gonna go through everything meticulously with this Garmin. You can get all that stuff off, you know, off their website. But I just wanted to show you this little thing and um, show you some footage from it. So let's see how uh, this camera does, you know, with glare. I'm going to drive around and try to point the truck at the at the sun and see how the Garmin does with glare. Glare can sometimes really uh, mess up your footage and uh, you don't want to lose any of that in case you're in an accident and need it or um, in case you see a T-Rex or a Bigfoot cross in front of your vehicle. You want to be able to uh, get that footage and put it on YouTube and uh, make some dough. <laughs> Now let's look at some of these license tags and see if we can uh, read some of these. Not that it's important, but if it's a hit and run and you need to get somebody's tag. So I'm about a car length from this Genesis. I don't know that I see much of a difference you tell me. Just leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Okay, guys. I got the Garmin polarized filter for the Garmin uh, Mini 2 dash cam. So uh, let's check that out. Let's go ahead and put it on there. Here you go. So this little thing here has a slot at the top. That goes towards the top. make sure there's no dust in there let's go ahead and install that i keep pressing buttons all right i'm pointed into the sun you should be able to see the difference now i tell you what i got some smudge on the window let me see if i have something to clean that off usually keep a microfiber in here let's see what I got here there we go got a microfiber let me clean this windshield a little bit I got big hot dog fingers I don't know man Does this end up smudging up my windows what's going on anyways I hope you can see the difference uh, before with the regular lens on the uh, Garmin Mini 2 and with the polarized lens that Garmin sells and as usual, I will put a link under the video in the description if you want to check it out and just, you know, read about it, see if you even need it. Um, this huge windshield in this Tundra, I get lots of glare. So, you know, I just think it's necessary from looking at some footage that I did driving into the sun. So, all right, let's look at how it does. 
Well, the first thing I notice is that it looks like it, the polarized lens cover um, gives you a little more contrast. The footage also seems, since it knocks out some of that glare, um, it just looks a little more, I don't know, maybe detailed or makes the colors look vibrant. I'm not exactly sure. I know it does look a little different. This video was shot. Um, it was like the uh, first or second day of fall. Uh, leaves are starting to change. Everything's real green. So I think it's, um, you know, I think it's an added bonus to the camera. It does make it a little more expensive, probably more than I would pay for a camera by itself. But other than that, I think it's a good addition. So if you get the camera, definitely pick up the lens cover. Well, guys, there you have it. The dash cam called the Garmin Mini. Two. And uh, you know, it uh works pretty good and I think it, it think it films it's um a lot better quality than those cheaper ones that I've bought. And the actual the overall quality of the Garmin Mini is uh is really nice. It's a solid piece. Um it goes on really well, the brackets are really high quality plastic. Any of the cheaper ones under $75 or under $80 tend to have some really cheap mounts and they don't hold up and they fall off the windshield and et cetera, et cetera. Um, I've just had some cheap ones in the past because I'm cheap and uh, you know, that's just, the, <laughs> you know. So I'm sharing some experience in the dash cam market. So anyways, and I added the polarized lens um, about, you know, I got that about a week later, so I wanted to do that. And it's, a, you know, as you just saw, the polarized lens does add some clarity to the uh, the footage. Don't know if it's needed. You, you know, I just wanted to see if it was better, especially at viewing, you know, car tags or whatever, for whatever reason. But, you know, anyways, I just wanted to share it with you. Um, let me know in the comments below any thoughts. I'm still kind of learning how to use it. I think this one has voice control. I probably won't use that. I just leave it on. It cuts on when I turn the car on and cuts off when I turn the car on. That's good enough for me, you know? And, um, you know, I might do an, uh, a video later of um, things I've learned and an update on how I feel about it. You know, kind of give a long-term review. And, uh, you know, that's, about all I got with this little camera so if you would like share and subscribe I've got some more stuff for the Tundra coming and uh, some special stuff on the Subaru I'm gonna lift that sucker up and uh, give it some better ground clearance and uh, put a taller tire on it and it, uh, it'll look pretty cool so uh, thanks again and I will see you next time see ya Thank you.